most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I am Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are Roland. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Okay, Brad, today we're going to talk about top three signs your hip pain is coming from arthritis. And uh, by the way, if it is, um, in our next video, we're going to show you what to do about it. Sure. Some of the stretches you can do. Mm -hmm. But look, Brad, do you want to show first off where the hip is? A lot of right. people think it's somewhere else, right. don't they? Some people think that the hip is the part of their pelvis up here. They, they point up here, and it's actually lower, and it's right down here, which, which on me is, is way down by where the pocket is. And uh, it's a really deep socket and a, a big ball in the end of your femur. It's got good stability, Bob. Right. It's, it's not like the shoulder joint. It really is. Uh, Doesn't pop in, out as easy. Exactly. All right. First thing, the first sign you're going to look at whether or not your hip pain is actually arthritis and not another, you know, all the hundreds of other things it could be, <laughs> is the location of the pain. Now, I read, Brad, is that the most common location for hip pain is actually in the groin. Mm -hmm. But I have not found that myself specifically. I found it more that it is on the side here, lower. Yeah. Me personally. Right. Just, uh, yeah, clinically, yeah, personal experience. You know, I, I don't know, Bob, because, you know, when you're looking at hip pain, is it, you know, it could be, there's so many other reasons that right. I'm, I'm, I'm unwilling to say it's mostly here and mostly there yeah. for arthritis. I, I, I less, less commonly is it in the back, mm -hmm. like especially if you yeah. have back pain and butt pain. I, I'm going to be looking that it might be more back. Sure, referral. Uh, but the other thing you got to keep in mind, I had a friend that this happened to. He actually had, was having a lot of knee pain, mm -hmm. and it was from his hip. Yeah, and he ended up having a hip replacement, and his knee pain went away. Yep. yep. So that's got you know get that gets a little tricky. The one that works out a little better, I think, is you can look at range of motion. Sure. Brad, that's, that's that's what we can do at home. Yep. So Brad, why don't you lay down flat first? All right. Okay. <sighs> and straighten your legs out. One of the most common uh, losses of motion with a hip. Arthritis is internal rotation, and that's when your feet turn in like this. So what you can do is you can lay down, and you can turn the one foot in, you can turn the other foot in and compare the two. So you're going to turn them both in, Brad. Turn that one in too, and see, does one go less than the other? So, so I'd, I'd say right now this one goes farther than that one. Right. So if this is that hip, by the way? Actually, not yet. Okay. <laughs> this could be a sign, or it could be that's the way I've been all my life. I don't know. Right, it could be. But the loss of internal rotation is a, is a, is a big sign of that. So often. if it was a problem, you might see this, and this one won't go anymore. You can't turn it all. Right. Yeah. Right. The other way to, to measure, and this is a little more difficult, like if I'm bringing his leg up like this, and, it, and the leg goes like this, the foot starts drifting over here, that means it can't turn this way very easy. That's often a lack of internal rotation too. So it goes up like this. You can't bring it up straight like this. It just won't. It won't go that way. Let's try this one on you, Brad. No, you're fine. I'm fine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. Just to clarify, Bob is saying it's just natural and it's easier and less painful to do yeah, this. Yeah. Right. And, and if you bring it up straight like this, it 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 tight or it won't go that way at all. Right. So. Sure. All right. Let's turn the mat, Brad. We had a big argument of whether or not we should do this off film or not. And I said, we're running live, baby. Yeah, we spent 20 minutes <laughs> discussing that issue. Okay, another test. Um, this is a very easy one to do if you're lacking external rotation on a leg. So let's so, talk real, what is external rotation? That's turning the hip out this way. Okay. So if you take your hand you're, you're, and you have trouble putting your ankle up on your knee like this, doing a sitting cross-legged, mm -hmm. And you put this one up like this, and, and that one's fine, but you put this one up and it goes like this, or yeah. you can't even get it up. Right. That means that you're lacking external rotation, and that could be a sign of arthritis right. in your hip. And, and like you said, it could be. There are a lot of other things that could cause that, but that this is where it gets a little you're tricky. St you're starting to narrow it down, right. I think. Mm -hmm. So why don't you lay down flat, bed, Brad? And, uh, I like that job, Bob. I'm good at laying down. You know, another one is just plain old lacking flexion. If, if this, this hip is coming up like this and you can't go very far, and this one goes all the way up like this, you know, again, it's a sign that something ha is happening in the joint and it's not allowing the motion at sure. all. Sure. Yep. The last direction is whether or not the hip actually goes back like this at all. Um, and the way you're going to test that, we're testing this hip here that goes off. And I'll make sure you don't fall off the bed here no. when you do this one. Yeah. So when I bring this leg up now, if this one is tight, 
this will actually start to lift up along with it. And you might see a little bit of that anyway, but because you see it on Brad, don't you? Or are you, are you faking it? I'm, I'm faking it. Just oh, you are. <laughs> this will be normal for me or for a lot of people. But if, if the, it's all tight from arthritis, it's going to lead Yeah, up it's going to be up like that. And, and of course, we didn't talk about the very common thing about arthritis in a hip is weight-bearing activity is almost always painful. Right, exactly. If you're, you're uh, standing on the leg, it's actually worse than when you're sitting. Right. So going out to the side, too, by the way, is, sure. uh, uh, can be restricted. Abduction. All right, two tests we two. can do. Okay. These are a little more involved, but, I mean, if you have a, you know, a spouse or somebody or a friend that you want to go ahead and test it a little bit, mm -hmm. you can do two tests. Go ahead and lay down flat back, Brad. This is called Stinchfield's test. I'm sure it must have been named after a doctor. Sure. We, we got to get something named after us, Brad. Right. I don't know how exactly. we're going to do that. But uh, all you do is you're going to have the person lift up like this about 30 degrees, and you're going to push on it. Mm. And if he has pain up in the hip or in the groin, that's more likely hip. If it's going in the back or in the SI, sacroiliac, then it may be more from there, from the back. So very simple. Bring it up. Give a little resistance. Ow! And it hurts right there, most likely hip. The other one Brad and I do is we just take it up like this, bend the knee, and we push down through the knee like this, and we move the hip around like this, and we call it, we're grinding the hip. Yeah. So it's real simple to do, just push down. And I often feel how smooth it is too, yeah. Brad. Yeah. Brad, I think your hip is fine. I, I think, think yeah, thank you, Bob. I have a good, clear diagnosis of hip. So again, if uh, you're finding out that you're having some of these are positive, go ahead and watch our next video, and we'll give you some ideas on how to stretch these. Excellent, Bob.